Um, <laughs> streaming. You. Uh, I'm trying to figure that out. The players all had you know, all the characters had these dreams of this character who revealed herself as the lady in blue. She was like a statuesque kind of looking woman. She had a bunch of severed heads that she held up by the hair that spoke for her because she has a stat. She had a statuesque head that could not speak or vocalize itself. And she had summoned them to a very disgusting dinner dinner party that was riddled with maggots, and uh, told the party that they needed to go and free an ally of hers, uh, an ally of everyone's, that is in this extra dimensional plane. And if the party did that, she would uh, change the uh, fate of the characters, because all of your characters are like peasants or common folk, and she said that she can change your stars and make you more powerful or rich and famous rich and or whatever, famous yeah. or whatever. Uh, own all the bees was one of the desires of the beekeeper. Um, so now, now the, the smuggler's the, not having any of this, by the way, and just really wants to get down to that goddamn pirate ship. With Maybe the, on the return journey. With the boreal infested birds. So, uh... We killed them. So the, the party yeah. had to go over this Unless visible bridge over the ocean. And once they concluded that journey, they jumped through a portal that brought them to, uh, Basically now they're in this big, huge structure that's composed of, like, thorns. And it looks like the whole structure is, like, a gigantic seed pod or something like that. And now they're inside... And once they got inside, they immediately came into the big chamber where there was this this uh, sitting guard seemingly over this wicker cage that's like 100 feet up from the top of the roof. Um, inside that chamber, this homicidal pumpkin demon uh, killed one of the members of the party. And they, like, possessed pumpkin or yeah. humanoid with pumpkin head? Uh, looks like that. Okay, all right, all right. It's exactly what you would think. <laughs> all right. A pumpkin with a jack-o'-lantern face on it. Um, and uh, the party retreated from him into this hole in the wall. So they're kind of like in the in the walls of the pod right now. Okay, okay. And they, have, they have just bad, encountered uh, two humans that are screw. Well, one of them killed. The other screaming about how the lady in blue is a... Evil person, seemingly <laughs> other adventurers like you that got sent here by the blue lady, that have gone crazy. All right, all right. And so one of them, this woman, has just booked it down the hall. But it seems like we've got a, a break situation, so we'll take a few moments here to regroup, and we'll be back. Awesome. Now, with the character sheet on this, it's just all pretty much straightforward. Uh, pretty the straightforward. The circle one, is that your add to hit chance? Hit, uh, that's hit points. Oh, okay. okay. And then... Uh, uh, the 10, then? Under it? The armor class. Okay. Um, oh, okay. I guess I should have read the HP and AC. But, all right. And then you got the weapons probably written on the right, right. side, probably. Yep. And then you have some like kind of flavor stuff that maybe you can find a creative use for. Yep. Um, so yeah, unlike 5th edition, there aren't a whole lot of mechanics or right. rules to know. The one thing, though, that you probably will want to know or keep in mind is you can burn the attribute luck. You can actually expend that. Oh, it's like a luck dice kind of situation? Right? Well, it is it is a stat, and a lot of times it'll, it'll involve anything that I decide is just... Uh, happen chance thing, or oh. like if you're searching for something, usually luck will get used. <coughs> okay. But you can actually burn the attribute to give a addition to a d20 roll. Okay. So like, let's say you're the last person alive and the big boss is right in front of you and you have to hit it. You could burn 10 points of your ability and add a plus 10 to that roll to try to... Okay. But then you'll have like but then one have... and your modifier will, will be, be negative... Bad. Oh, so you can expand it. Uh, how do you... Is there any way to regain luck or anything? There is over time, but it won't happen in the course of a single adventure. Okay, yeah. so like basically once today... You, today, once you use it, it's gone. That's yeah. it for you. Okay. But yeah, so uh, we've had... We started with 16. 
Weird uh, we, we made 24 characters. We started with 16, so we had a reserve of 8. We have one reserve? We now have one reserve, and I'm down one, so at some point he might find another time for us to... I'm the only one who's lost one, or you lost one. I lost one. So th- those four have been with us since the beginning. Tamara's four have been his three. This is the only guy I have left that was originally with us. He's a turnip farmer named Wilbur. All right. And uh, terrible turnip. He's got a hen with him named Wiki. Okay. I see. Like she's got a duck on this one. That is coming into play. Yep. Absolutely. <laughs> like you probably you might have a. I had. Was one of the dogs. She's got a sheep shepherd that has a sheep dog. Oh yeah, I got a dog and a duck. Yeah, yeah. like every you know once I a, like my pets. Every, every <laughs> once in a while, the dog just shows up with the duck in its mouth. Like, <laughs> like soft, soft. You know, has the the duck.
All right, it's not. We're live. All right, we are back. Um, so we had a, a player change out, but same characters. Um, and where we left off is the party um, has come to this place, which is an apparently a prison for some kind of uh, entity that a woman in blue imparted on the party that they were to come here to save. Um, the party passed through a massive chamber where this huge titan was sleeping. Um, 60 foot tall titan creature um, above it a dangling cage that you could not see f into from your perspective on the ground floor. Um, the party discovered that there was a breach in the wall of this massive chamber where a hole leading to a tunnel was. Um, as the party traversed through the chamber to get to that crevice, uh, this big pumpkin monster uh, killed one of the party members and uh, seemed to <laughs> suggest that it will be back at some point. And the party passed through into this hallway where a couple of crazed adventurers from a past ex expedition that the blue lady sent in here. Um, one, one of them was killed by the group, and the other just, a woman, just ran down the chamber in, like, fright and craze. 